in this tutorial i am going to discuss a programming question in what binary tree so in this problem we have given a binary tree and we have to write a code to invert it and inverting a binary tree means we have to interchange the left and right children of all non-leaf nodes for example given this binary tree and once we invert this binary tree we get uh, this tree and how uh, we are doing it so let's say uh, this is the root node and it has uh, this left children and right children so what we have to do is we have to interchange it so we have to put seven here and two here and then uh, the left and right children of seven is six and nine so let's interchange this as well so after interchanging it so nine comes here and six here, and the left and right children of two is three and one so let's interchange them as well so you can see after doing the in after interchanging the left and right children of all node we get this tree and this is the mirror image of this input binary tree so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem in this example we are going to see how we can solve this problem using level order traversal so the idea here is to traverse a binary tree level by level and also interchange left and right children of a node so first uh, first this is a root node and 2 and 7 are its left and right children so first we interchange them then uh, 7 comes here and 2 comes here then the left and right children of 7 are 6 and 9 we interchange them the left and right children of 2 are 1 and 3 we interchange them so let's visualize this approach and for level order traversal I'm going to use queue data structure so what we can do is we first enqueue root nodes so let's enqueue them and then we have to visit each and every node level by level so we run a loop while uh, the skew is not empty so initially we enqueue the root node so it is not empty so we pull them so we dequeued them and then here is the logic to swap uh, left and right children of a node so so the uh, left and right children of uh, this root node are 2 and 7 so here i am using one more variable which is of tree node type in which I assign the reference of left node and then in left so in left children we assign uh, this node and in right we assign this node so you can imagine like this this 4 then 7 comes here and 2 comes here and also we enqueue them in a queue so now 7 is the left so we enqueue 7 first and then 2 and also uh, this is the reference it means it's uh, 6 and 9 also come here and 1 and 3 comes here in next iteration we dequeue this node and we take its left and right children and interchange them so its left and right children are 6 and 9 so we interchange them so 9 comes here and 6 come, comes here and then we enqueued them in a queue so 9 first left then right then 6 so now in next iteration we dequeued this node 2 and then we interchange its left and right children so its left and right children are 1 and 3 so when we interchange them 3 comes here and 1 comes here and then we enqueued them in a queue so we enqueued 3 and 1 in next iteration we dequeued this node and its left and right children are null so when we swap so it is null is swapped with null and uh, here we have put condition if it is not null then enqueued them in a queue so it is null so nothing to enqueued in next iteration we dequeued this node and again its left and right children are not there so we don't have to enqueue anything in a queue so similarly it's for three and it's for one then the queue is empty and we came out of this loop and we return the reference of root node now 
this tree is inverted this binary tree is inverted so we have solved this problem using this iterative approach so we have solved this problem using level order traversal now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n so we are visiting each node of a binary tree and also its space complexity is big o of n we are using additional uh, data structure q to uh, put uh, to nq all the nodes in a queue and then we dequeued it and we interchange uh, interchange its left and right children so uh, this is our first approach now let's see how we can solve this problem using recursion in our previous example we have solved this problem using iterative approach and now let's see how we can solve them using recursion and to solve them using recursion here i am using post order traversal so first we visit left child then we visit right child and we swap the links of left and right child so we have to invert this binary tree we have to change the links of left and right children so let's see how we can do it so let's visualize how this approach solves this problem so what we have to do is we have to start with the root and we have to visit the left child first so we we visit this node then we visit this node so you can see this i'm calling uh, this method with the reference of its left child and then the left children is null so it return and we came back here then we check its right child so it's also null we came back here so we swap with the null and we return uh, this node and so we go back here so we already visited this node then we visit uh, this node then we visit left and right children so it's null and we go back at this node and we swap the links of this left and right child so it so three comes here and one comes here then uh, so we have swap its left and right children so we go back to this node then we visit this uh, right child then we visit its left children it's null so its left and right children is null so we go back to this node and then we go back to this then we came here we check its left and right children so it's null we go back to this node and we go back to this we uh, swap the nodes here it is nine six and then we move back here and now we change the links between this node and this node so seven comes here and two comes here so finally when we are done with the recursion we get this inverted tree so four seven then two then here it is nine and six and here it is three and one so now uh, this is how we can solve this using regression so here I, I have used post order traversal you can also use pre order traversal to solve this problem and uh, let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o n so we are visiting each node and its space complexity is o h where h is the height of this uh, height of the binary tree so in this tutorial i have explained two approaches to solve this problem and if you know any other approach you can let us know through your comment and for more and that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video